everyone, your online tindera, Soju Girl is back. And today, I'm going to do a quick product review and comparison of this popular Korean main ingredients that are mostly used in almost all Korean dishes. So without further ado, let's get started. So ayun, I have here Korean pepper flakes. This one is Nongu brand. And then this one is the popular Sempio brand. Both of these are made up of 100% dried red pepper flakes. Meaning no filers, no added ingredients. Just 100% pepper flakes. Mostly pag bibili kayo ng Korean pepper flakes brand, Merong part na open siya, so you can see what's inside. This Nongbu brand is more of a flaky. Mas marami siyang flakes compared sa Sempio. Korean pepper flakes are used in kimchi. But there are Korean cuisines or dishes that also needs uh, Korean pepper flakes. Pepper powder is really used in soups, stews. But I prefer to use pepper flakes because it's more spicy and it's more spicy. 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 And it's more Especially pag spoons, medyo thicken yung sauce, uh, pepper powder tayo. Pero kapag uh, yung gusto mo yung spicy, yung may kick na sabaw, as in pepper flakes. If I put this in front of you, malalaman nyo kagad yung difference ng dalawa. Nongbu pepper powder is more pungent. Like, it has a more pungent scent. As in, mas matapang talaga yung amoy niya. Amoy na amoy na pepper siya. Yung tipong ma-aching ka kapag open mo pa lang nung pouch niya. Unlike with the Sempio, medyo mahina yung ano niya. At saka I've tried this kasi before, uh, ang available lang na brand or ang ginagamit ko lang din talaga na brand is Sempio. Uh, I need to put a lot of this para maging spicy siya. Sempio brand is cheaper. This cost 398 pesos for 1 kilograms. And then, Nongbu brand is 448 pesos for 1 kilograms. I also have the repack version, which is 100 grams and 200 grams available. And sa mga nagtatanong kung anong brand yung ginagamit ko dun sa repack, it's this, Nongbu. Mas expensive siya. And then, as you can see, never kung change yung price. As is pa rin yung price. Pero syempre, gusto ko yung mga buyers ko. Dun tayo kung ano yung mas maganda. So, tips naman on how to properly store your Korean pepper flakes. So, ayun, itong pares na brand na to, nakalagay na siya sa resealable zip lock. Kung hindi mo pa siya gagamitin, mas advisable na ilagay siya sa freezer para mas tumagal siya. Senpyo, uh, nilagay ko lang siya sa pantry. Nilagay ko siya sa garapon. Uh, after a few weeks, nag Nangitim siya and then nagkaroon siya ng mga molds. Compared to ng Goo brand, uh, ngayon meron pa rin ako nakalagay siya sa pantry, nakalagay sa garapon, pero same pa rin siya. Basta as is pa rin, wala nagbago sa kulay niya. Unlike this Sempio, nag-dark siya and then nagkaroon ng hangag. Ayun pa pala isa pa, mostly yung Korean red pepper flakes, ang nakalagay sa kanya is red pepper powder. Pero flakes talaga siya, hindi siya powder. Yung powder talaga na fine is nakalagay red pepper powder for seasoning. Kung prefer mo ng medyo light, hindi siya masyadong spicy, I suggest you go for Sempio brand. But if you want something more spicier, more pungent flavor, mas amoy talaga yung pepper sa kimchi mo, I suggest you use the Nongbu brand. So I still 
prefer tissues than ng Boo brand. Uh, even if it's ano, mas expensive siya na around 50 pesos, I still like using this kasi mas flavorful yung dishes, yung kimchi when you use this. Uh, ano ba naman yung 50 pesos? For 1 kilogram na difference, you will get the quality that you want na. Ang dami nang sasabi, ang dami positive feedback na legit talaga siya, as in authentic talaga siya. Yung pag-open pa lang nila nung pouch nila, nangangamoy na kagad. <laughs>